So I guess most of you would know about the agenda because that is what was already circulated. We are going to discuss briefly what is sociology, why one has to go with sociology because there are umpteen number of options that are available, right? So among all of them, why is it that uh, one has to go for sociology is also something we have to will discuss. And then finally, how do we go about preparing starting from zero? So I have uh, cleared UPSC uh, with the new pattern, the current pattern itself uh, and got into IAS in 2014 with sociology as my optional. Okay. But I've even given uh, some of the attempts in the old pattern where there were two options, right? Before 2014, uh, there were two optionals and only two GS papers. So then I had uh, both public administration and sociology. Okay. Now, I have uh, gone through the interview stage when there were two optionals with public administration and sociology. But when the pattern got changed, when we have the current pattern, uh, the same pattern that was introduced, I had to pick between public administration and sociology. Okay, And for me, it was not very difficult to choose sociology over public administration. Okay, Now, you will get to understand why uh, it was not very difficult for me to choose uh, sociology over public administration as we discuss what sociology, because once we discuss what soci sociology is, you will you will mostly get the answer why I have taken this over public administration. Okay. Or for that matter, why have I even chosen these two optional, that is public administration and sociology to start off with? Fine, because I don't have any humanities background. Okay, because I'm a proper engineer in IT. I worked with an IT firm and then I did my MBA from IIM Mumbai. And then I worked again after that as a consultant in India and UK. Okay, so there is nothing to do with humanities per se, right? Probably last I would have read something about society or let's say civics or something would have been in class 10. So after class 10 for so many years have I have nothing to do with humanities. Then why did I choose sociology is also one question that might be there in the minds of a lot of you, right? Sir, why did you choose sociology? You could have gone with, let's say, uh, management because uh, you've done managed from from, uh, from a prestigious institution. You could have taken management also, right? This question is in the mind of some people. Sir, you can take management too. Why sociology or public, public administration? Or so answer you'll get the answer for this once we discuss what is sociology now here uh, since most of you are completely new to this field right i'm sure you would have you would be starting from zero most of you would be starting from zero i will stay away from using any jargons or i'll stay away from throwing certain names okay i'll make it as simple as possible okay so that even uh, uh, someone who is in graduation who doesn't have any background of humanities should be able to understand what we're going to discuss, okay? Most of you would be knowing uh, a bit of uh, what is uh, sociology. So basically, I'll start off with a simple case, okay? All of you are aspiring to become uh, civil servants, right? And uh, you have uh, decided to take this journey of UPSC. Now, you must have seen people around you giving a lot of advices. The moment you decided, jab aapne decide kiya, Ki mujhe UPSC prepare karna hai, right? When you decided that you're going to go with UPSC, you are choosing civil services as a career for you. There would have been a lot of people around you who would be giving certain advices. Okay. Typically, I would say I will club into four set of advices. Okay. First advice that you would have gotten is if you work hard, you will clear UPSC. You just work hard. Okay. The, the most important thing is just to work hard. There would be some people uh, who would be advising you this, right? So this particular advice is primarily to do with your own individual effort. This yeah, depends individual capability. Pe depend karta. How many hours I have to spend? How many hours I should study? Right? All of that is dependent on your individual effort. Okay? This is one particular advice that you would have gotten. One set of advice or, or another advice that you would have gotten is take so-and-so optional. It's doing well. Join so and so coaching institute. There are very good number of results from from that particular institute. Then you have a very good chance of clearing UPSC. I'm pretty sure you would have gotten this advice also. Ye bhi mila hoga, right? Now this is determined by what? Okay, this aspect, this first one is to do with your individual effort. Okay, 
Now, what is this advice to do with? Are there certain things that are beyond individual's control? Yes, optional. If someone is saying that so and so optional is doing well, that means uh, the marking, looking at the marking of UPSC, maybe the scores have been fairly uh, been better off than let's say some of the years. Okay, that for that particular optional. Okay, there have been good number of people who have scored well. There are कुछ लोगों को काफी ज्यादा नंबर भी आए इस ऑप्शनल में एंड यू माइट सी दैट यू माइट बी लुकिंग एट सम ऑफ द टॉपर्स अरे यार क्वाइट अ फ्यू नंबर ऑफ टॉपर्स हैव टेकन सो एंड सो ऑप्शनल सो दीज आर द फैक्टर्स व्हिच आर बियॉन्ड द इंडिविजुअल ओके एंड ये वाला कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूशन सो इट्स 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 अगेन अनदर एस्पेक्ट व्हिच इज द एंटायर कोचिंग सेक्टर okay so that is also determining your chances of getting into upsc so your chances of getting into upsc is is decided by the factors it is decided by the social factors which are beyond individuals control okay another advice one more advice that lot of people would have been getting maybe let's say you you clear the first stage and maybe even the second stage jaise ki once you clear prelim jaise aap prelims clear kar lete ho aur mains ka aata so there is something called detail application form that you have to fill in okay in the detail application form you have to select the preference of services okay on the top i'll choose so and so service second this is going to be my service okay there also there might be a lot of people advising you that if you are a girl then maybe a lot of people would be saying why do you choose ips over irs you are a girl so you better choose irs over ips so this suggestion okay is determined by what factor what is the factor that is determining this your gender okay one more advice last set of advice is that see upsc is quite unpredictable okay it might take a lot of years you might end up spending so many years so it's better you take up any other uh, profession like get into your own family business or get into some core sector you've done engineering from so and so get into the core sector of engineering there are five fairly good opportunities right so this is also one more uh, social factor okay that is determining so your journey of upsc is not only determined by your own effort it is determined by many social factors many social institutions here there are other institutions that are playing a role like your coaching institution okay when i say social institution your own family your own family okay is determining here maybe uh, people want you to get into business instead of getting into upsc it also depends on the place that you come from let's say if you are from let's say a place like uh, gujarat or maharashtra maybe someone will advise that instead of spending so much of time you better take up a career in um, chartered accountancy or you you join some business right that would have been if you are from a place like let's say up or bihar possibly first choice would be maybe uh, go for any government job or go for upsc if you are from let's say a state like andhra pradesh or tamil nadu then there there would be a lot of people who would be suggesting that it's not worth spending so many years instead you go with your it job go to bangalore and join a startup instead okay so something like that okay so it, it using this simple uh, case i've tried to explain that if you are using merely a common sensical knowledge then you will only uh, look at factors which are individualistic when i say individualistic your decision of whether i should go for upsc or not may be determined only by some friend who has advised you to do so right but what sociology says is that your getting in getting through your chances of getting through upsc is determined by many social factors so sociology in a way helps us to see the interconnectedness of various social 
institutions or it is to do with what I call is connecting individual problem with social or public problem. Okay. Either it is looking at interconnectedness or it is looking at a broader aspect of how an individual problem can be connected with a social problem. What is the social problem or public issue? Is issue? Here, the government wants to the best brains. It wants to hire the best brains for the administration, right? And this has to be met by the individuals, okay? So, there is a connection between an individual problem and a social problem, okay, social issue. So, this is one way of looking at what sociology is, right? Uh, I will try to explain one, uh, uh, give you one, one or two other cases so that you uh, get a more broader way, broader understanding. So, I'll use another uh, example here, okay? Now, look at this picture. You're able to see this picture, right? I hope everyone is able to see the slides. Fine, everyone is able to see. Now, looking at the picture, okay, looking at, look at this picture. Now, uh, there is only one individual, okay? Now, if you study this picture, are we talking about only an individual or are we, are we looking at something beyond an individual and is there is there is something to do with society also, right? Kya, pe society kuch had tak involved hai ya nahi hai, right? So, if you look at uh, uh, this particular picture, okay, if you only look narrowly, then you are only discussing, you are talking about or you are trying to understand only something about individual, okay? Now, looking at the picture, you can possibly make out that maybe these pictures are taken wherever this girl travels to. Now, uh, if let's suppose uh, there's a window, someone is walking along the window and that person is overhearing what she is looking at in the television. Television, mein, TV, mein, ji, wo, koi Netflix series, dekh rahi hai, voice thoda loud. Hai. So someone who is walking along the road, uh, he's hearing something. So that person, if you presume, if you assume that person has a sociological, wo sociologist, hai, ji, what will he observe? Listening to something, he will make out, okay, she's watching so-and-so series on, on, let's say, Prime, okay, maybe uh, she's watching Khaki, maybe, let's say, or she's watching Made in Heaven or something. So, based on that, that person will be able to make out maybe which age group this girl belongs to. Maybe he, he or she will be able to make out which class this girl belongs to, right? What is her socioeconomic background or what is her uh, profession, right? So this is what is a sociological perspective, okay? You are looking much beyond what is very obvious, right? You are lo looking much beyond what is an individual case, okay? What a, a particular individual is doing, right? So this is what I call is developing what is... sociological perspective okay so when i say sociological perspective there are two basic things that we are trying to do okay what are those two basic things these are the two basic things right one is you are seeing something that is general in particular okay and you are trying to identify something strange in familiar what do we mean by these things okay so let if we go back to the case of upsc okay so we are looking beyond the individual case and we are trying to study uh, what is general we are trying to study patterns what are the patterns let's say between the age group of 25 and 25 years out of the people who have take applied for UPSC, how many have chosen sociology as optional? How many have chosen psychology as optional? Okay. 
so i am trying to identify patterns okay i am trying to look at something which is general in particular okay similarly out of the people who clear upsc how many are women out of the people out of the women who have cleared upsc how many have chosen irs over ips how many have chosen ips over irs right so when i try to identify these patterns that is the first that is one of the important aspects of sociological perspective that means i am trying to identify something general in particular okay another simple case is manvi ji for example you are looking into uh, marriage of some person okay and you are trying to discuss let's say something which is happening in the marriage of your friend right that is an individual case okay so as a sociologist you are not too concerned about one particular case of conflict within the marriage rather you are concerned to identify patterns when i say patterns if there is a discord within the marriage marriage mein kuch problem hai ya fir to divorce ke rates dekho right divorce rates in intercaste marriages dekho right divorce rates in interfaith marriages dekho so you are trying to have a certain pattern okay taking many individual cases and trying to identify certain patterns so that is one aspect when i talk about sociological perspective that is one aspect the second aspect is trying to identify something which is strange see humko kai cheez hai we find something uh, we take some things for granted jaise for example upsc ke case mein hi hai so uh, someone is just uh, deciding that if you go for so and so coaching institute your chances increase okay and we we, we are taking those things for granted or for example if you look at a poor person you are walking along the street okay and you see a homeless person you might be uh, thinking that this person is homeless because he is not hard working okay or he is from a family which is troubled okay so you are making judgments and you are not looking beyond what is obvious okay so these are the two aspects of the sociological perspective and when i say sociology sociology is simply a scientific and systematic study of society okay it should be scientific and it should be systematic okay and you are looking beyond the individual and that involves you have to a sociologist has to develop what is called a sociological perspective which involves trying to identify general in particular or trying to identify strange in familiar okay so this is broadly what is sociology so i have tried to avoid i have not used any jargons otherwise i have not used any names per se now when i say if you are looking at something strange in familiar there is also some related term there is a term which is called sociological imagination okay there is a term which is called sociological imagination so as a sociologist since you are looking beyond what is obvious you are developing what is called sociological imagination so i will finally clarify this aspect with one more simple case of the very act of drinking a coffee as a, if you are a sociologist okay what you have to look at is you have to look at this act from a completely different perspective you should think Uh, beyond the obvious okay you should uh, move beyond the individual and think about it okay so if i take the act of coffee what will i try to understand i'll try to relate it with some kind of ritual okay that means drinking a coffee is a ritual for me i have to drink coffee the moment i wake up to start my work right so it becomes a ritual or if i am into going to gym quite a lot of you might be going to gym right सुबह सुबह जिम जाते हैं तो फिर लॉट ऑफ पीपल व्हाट दे डू ब्लैक कॉफी का शॉट लेते हैं राइट सो दैट इज आल्सो एन इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ देयर डेली रूटीन ओके और यू प्लान योर डे आपका डे ऐसा प्लान करते हो यू प्लान योर डे इन सच ए वे दैट यू हैव फ्रीक्वेंट कॉफी ब्रेक्स टू रिवाइव योर सेल्फ फॉर द नेक्स्ट हर्ड ऑफ द डे राइट सो दिस इज वन थिंग नाउ आई कैन लुक एट द एक्ट ऑफ ड्रिंकिंग कॉफी एज ऑल्सो अ मीन टू socialize or you can use it as a 
mean to date someone? Okay. If you want to date someone, the first thing that you do is, can we go out for a coffee? Or if you want to socialize, can we meet at this particular cafe in the afternoon and discuss uh, so-and-so things about, right? So it is a mean of socialization. This is the second aspect, okay? Now, going further beyond uh, socialization, if you look at the coffee beans, okay? There is an entire supply chain that is behind what you drink in a cup of coffee. What is the supply chain? Let's say if you're going to a coffee, a Starbucks or some or Indian coffee house, okay? The beans are sourced from some place, so-called expensive outlets. They are primarily sourced from places like Africa or places like Brazil, okay? Now, if you look at this entire supply chain, the places where it is being sourced, there could be people who are working in difficult circumstances. That means they are working for 12 to 14 hours to grow those coffee beans. There might be child labor involved. Okay. So they might not be strictly following the labor laws. Okay. So aap ek coffee ke act ko kaha kaha expand karo. Kaise aap imagine karo. How are you imagining to see various aspects of the society, the entire supply chain? Kaha pe child labor hai, right? Sourcing me kya problems hai, right? And finally, if you look at one more aspect, coffee is an addiction for some people. Now, if coffee is an addiction, why it is not outlawed? Kyu usko illegal nahi banaya, baki or kya marijuana dekho wo, it is also addictive, right? But, is, but that is illegal. Alcohol hai, wo bhi addictive hai, wo, and in many places that is prohibited, right? So this is what I term as sociological imaginations. So you are looking beyond what is a very obvious act. Yeah, this is a very common thing. But in this common thing, you are trying to find something uncommon. Ki koshish kar rahe ho, right? Isko bhi ap, aapke thinking ko aap thoda bada rahe. You are expanding the horizon of your imagination. Okay? This is what a sociologist does. Okay? So I hope you have fairly understood what this concept of sociology means, right? So I will now introduce certain names, key names, just like ye wala concept jo hai, sociolo sociological imagination was given by a person called as C. Wright Mills, okay? And this term sociology was coined by a person called August Comte. Okay. So, a simple way me samajne ke baad, I have tried to introduce the names. Now, this is what is expected out of you. Yani, aap simple cheezo ko likh rahe ho, lekin when you are writing your answers in sociology, wo cheeze kis ne boli hai, usko introduce karo ke, right? Ek specific terms, jaha, jase mene use ka, I have used certain terms, certain jargons like sociological imaginations, sociological perspective. That is the, those are the things that will use the answer. So this is how sociology is slightly different from, let's say your GS answers, because in GS paper one also, there is something called Indian society, right? Every year about 50 to 60 marks worth of questions are asked there. Sir, so the way I write the answers in GS one, is it different? How is it different from studying an optional altogether? Is the preparation same by and large? There is a slight difference in the, the level of knowledge that you have to acquire when you study sociology, the way you bring in certain terms, the way you try to substantiate your arguments with some person who has spoken about. Yani, main agar sociological imagination ki baat kar raha hon, so I'll try to back it up with using a person called Dikho, C. Wright Mills ne ye kaha hai, right? <clears throat> so and so person has told so and so, right? So I hope you have broadly understood what sociology is primarily okay so let's move on to the next part uh, which is again very important or before moving on to the next part may question aapko throw karta hon, okay based on this simple understanding only job whatever we discussed based on what sociology is maybe you would want to uh, brainstorm a little yahi pe thoda points bhi hum khud generalize uh, generate kar le iske liye you wouldn't need lot of knowledge here whether it is GS ka knowledge or sociological knowledge. Look at this question, okay? 
Now this has this is a question that was asked by UPSC. Now those people who know कहाँ पे पूछा है where it was asked please don't type in as of now. Okay. Now I am giving you choices. This is a question in the light of judicial intervention or live-in relationships. Discuss the future of marriage and family in India. Okay. तो मैं आपको choices देता हूँ कि ये कहाँ पूछा गया. UPSC has asked in one of the previous years. Has it been asked in GS Paper One Indian Society? यहाँ पे India है. Indian Society के basic features में marriage है, family. Okay. Second option. Has it been asked in social justice part of GS two? GS two में there is a part called social justice. Okay. Or has it been asked in okay sociology? Paper one, paper two. Okay. So I give four options. Give A, B, C, D. It's been asked in paper one, sociology. Okay. Now, but see, you know, see, lot of you even have been confused, sir. This is an India-based question. Indian society ka basic hai, family and marriage we study in. basics of society it is a very apt question for uh, gs1 also and i wouldn't be surprised maybe upsc will ask this question in gs1 also right so if a question is asked in gs1 how will i answer and if the same question is being asked in optional paper 1 how will i answer okay so basically since you have no knowledge of optional we will try to quickly deal with this answer only looking at some basic things okay जैसे मान लीजिए आप एक एज ए इसके लिए आपको यू डोंट नीड एनी नॉलेज आल्सो इवन जीएस नॉलेज इज आल्सो नॉट रिक्वायर्ड मोस्ट ऑफ यू नो व्हाट इज लिव इन रिलेशनशिप इफ सम ऑफ यू वुड बी इवन लिविंग तुम आप में से कुछ लोग होंगे भी लिविंग इन रिलेशनशिप में ओके दिस इज क्वाइट पॉसिबल दिस डेज वे बहुत ही कॉमन है आजकल राइट तो तो क्वेश्चन इज इन द लाइट ऑफ जुडिशियल इंटरवेंशन ऑफ लिव इन रिलेशनशिप व्हाट इज बीन द स्टैंड ऑफ कोर्ट्स ऑन लिव इन रिलेशनशिप सी बाय एंड लार्ज देयर इज नो लॉ which gives a sanction per se see a marriage has got a legal sanction legal protection by what we call as let's say hindu marriage act ya fir there is a, a special marriage act okay or apna uh, civil laws are there individual personal laws are there okay there is nothing for live in relationships on these lines okay but it is only due to judicial pronouncement judi uh, the judgments of the courts that there is a precedence so by and large it's gotten a legitimacy it is considered to be legal okay it is dependent on the uh, judgments okay i'm not throwing the names okay there are certain like badri prasad case but mai wo complicate nahi karna chahta you right so again we'll get into the polity wala discussion right uh, similar lot of high courts there is a case of khushbu versus kanniyamman case right so i'm not going throwing the names here बट एक तो लीगल है और इवन द कोर्ट हैज सेड दैट इट इज राइट टू लाइफ इट इज इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ राइट टू लाइफ टू फर्स्ट फॉर टू पीपल टू लिव इन अंडर वन रूफ एज कपल्स एज पार्टनर्स ओके देन कमिंग टू सर्टन एस्पेक्ट्स जो कि मैरिज में मिलता है जो काइंड ऑफ प्रोटेक्शन दैट वी गेट इन मैरिज व्हाट इज द प्रोटेक्शन लेट्स से देयर आर सर्टेन लॉज लाइक डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस एक्ट ओके सिमिलरली एलिमेनी इफ समवन इज सेपरेटिंग सो दीज आर अवेलेबल in case of marriage no these things have also been extended in case of live in relationships okay this is on a case to case basis fine someone has taken it to the high court and according to that there has been a judgment similarly what what about the child born out of live in relationship okay usko bhi legitimacy mili hai okay so broadly these are the aspects when we look at the supreme court and high court judgments okay now having known about these things how is it affecting both family and marriage right so if it is asked purely as a gs question okay kaise hum dekhenge how will we look at it okay let's say what is happening to family quickly general points only will discuss some people say it is a threat okay now threat to family system it is a threat to joint family system also because the moment you say 
इफ यूर लिविंग इन जॉइंट फैमिली एंड यू से टू लिव इन विद अ पार्टनर आपको घर से भगा देंगे मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस मे बी और ओके सो फ्रॉम जॉइंट फैमिली यू आर मूविंग टू न्यूक्लियर फैमिली जो एग्जिस्टिंग न्यूक्लियर फैमिली है दैट इज ऑल्सो अंडर थ्रेट बिकॉज अभी दिस इज ऑल्सो नॉट रिक्वाइर्ड यूर नॉट काइंड ऑफ देर इज देर इज अ टर्म ऑल्सो लाइक यू आर लिविंग इन बैंगलोर एंड योर पार्टनर इज मे बी वर्किंग इन चेन्नई ओवर द वीकेंड you are trying to meet so this is there is a term living apart together it's it's a variation of living relationship only right okay so this is what is happening to family what else is happening to family you must have heard about terms like since you are not in a, a legal uh, relationship uh, proper married relationship rearing a child is a problem rearing a child is a problem kyunki pata nahi kal ko kya legal stand hone wala you don't know right so there is a uh, emergence of what is called double income no kid any kid nahi chahiye but we are living in a relationship where both of us are earning okay so these are some aspects similarly marriage mein kya hoga okay there is a sanctity associated with marriage okay मैरिज इज सैंक्टिमोनी स्पेशली इन लेट्स एशियन सोसाइटी लॉट ऑफ सोसाइटीज ओके सो देर इज ए थ्रेट टू दिस सैंक्टिटी ऑफ मैरिज फाइन ओके वॉट एल्स इज हैपनिंग द स्टेटस ऑफ वुमन स्टेटस ऑफ वुमन इज पॉसिबली इंप्रूविंग टू अ ग्रेट एक्सटेंट इट इज इंप्रूविंग बिकॉज सी इन द मैरिज टू लुक एट एन एस्पेक्ट ऑफ से मैरिटल रेप एंड ऑल ओके मैरिज में इट इज स्टिल नॉट इन लीगल ओके if there is an exploitation the woman can easily get out of a live in relationship so it gives more power to women in a way so this could be looked as a positive aspect okay then what else can happen marriage is considered to be a a good mean of transferring property that means you get married you have accumulated wealth aap kuch wealth accumulate kiye ho aap shaadi kar rahe ho then you ra- you're raising uh, kids later on you're forming a family and this property is being seamlessly transferred to the next generation ek property transfer ka ek acha mechanism hai to start with marriage and then uh, continuing with family okay so this is also facing a threat ye jo transfer of property hai isko threat hone wala hai right so this is how you might want to write an answer ab sociology mein yahi points likhoge sociology mein kya aur add karoge ki ye jo bhi maine mention kiye hain whatever examples यहां पे आप बोलोगे कि ये वाला चीज पर्सन एक्स ने कहा है राइट right? ये जो स्टेटस ऑफ वुमेन इंप्रूव है इसको पर्सन बी ने कहा यानी एक फेमिनिस्ट स्कॉलर ने कहा है राइट right? या फिर ये जो प्रॉपर्टी का थर्ट है उसको एक मार्क्सिस्ट स्कॉलर ने कहा तो यू यूज द नेम्स एंड यू आर ब्रिंगिंग इन सम टर्म्स और सम परस्पेक्टिव राइट दीज परस्पेक्टिव और थियोरीज like right functionalist feminist marxist okay these are the perspectives that we study in detail in sociology and that is how an answer in sociology is different from the same question if it is asked in your gs okay see i have been mentoring a lot of people who are writing mains this year also people who are writing mains have been mentoring okay क्या होता है ना आ, आ, वो सोशोलॉजी का बैकग्राउंड है दैट इज वाई दे राइट लॉट ऑफ जार्गन से देर जीएस आंसर ओके एट द सेम टाइम सोशोलॉजी के आंसर में बहुत जेनरिक लिख देते हैं तो उसका सोशोलॉजिकल पर्सपेक्टिव कहाँ दिख रहा है उस पर्सन का राइट सो दिस इज हाउ एन आंसर बिकॉज दिस क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्ट इन जी एस एज वेल एज योर सोशोलॉजी पेपर and in sociology this is these are the additional things we are supposed to learn okay and that is what will happen in the due course wherever you take course right this is what you're going to learn so is the case uh, in the course that we are starting on 15th of september okay so this is by and large i think we have discussed a lot in detail as to how sociology a question that is asked in sociology is different from as in the way you answer the question asked in sociology is different from the way you ask answer the question in uh, gs okay we have broadly understood what is sociology okay we have tried to bring in certain terms and the names okay the perspectives kya hai thinkers 
कौन कौन से परस्पेक्टिव के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू में हो सकते हैं ऑल ऑफ दिस वी हैव ब्रॉट इन ओके नाउ हैविंग डेल्ट विथ वॉट इज सोशोलॉजी नाउ यू माइट बी हैविंग दिस डायलमा सर ओके थोड़ा बहुत लग रहा है कि ये मैं डील कर पाऊंगा राइट right? it doesn't appear to be too difficult it appears to be quite easy okay then why is it the case that not everybody is taking sociology or why should i not choose let's say anthropology or po political science i us may be general things hoti hain right uh, we discuss a lot of general political concepts we discuss about what is happening around the world in psir right or economics may we discuss a lot of basic things so how is it that uh, how is it possibly that sociology is more beneficial for someone okay see since personally i have taken sociology there might be a slight bias but i have taken this call applying same parameters which i am going to discuss right so before me deciding sociology what are the parameters that i considered or for that matter anybody should consider is what we are going to discuss and we are going to answer why one should go with sociology right the first and foremost thing that leans in favor the parameter that favors sociology in a way is that the syllabus is quite limited and there is a good amount of overlap with gs how is there a good amount of overlap with gs so abhi hum quickly thoda scan karenge syllabus taki you get an understanding in terms of the depth as well as breadth as well as what extent it is relevant to some of the papers of gs so for that matter essay paper okay first one sociology as a discipline so i am just quickly running through the syllabus again we are not going to spend too much of time doing a phd over what are these terms okay just to give an idea of what are what all things we are going to study so this is ballpark uh, an indicative number in terms of weightage just to give you also uh, the relative importance of certain topics relative importance to understand relative importance what i have done is i have allotted some marks this is an indicative thing don't go it is not cast in stone ye mat sir you are told that we get 20 marks out of this but is baat 40 marks puch liya ho sakta hai right aisa bhi ho ya kuch pucha bhi nahi it might happen okay it's only an indicative thing so what happens is in your uh, any paper any optional paper you get what eight questions theek hai out of which you have to write attempt five questions these eight questions are divided into part a part b okay one question number 1 is compulsory similarly question number 5 is compulsory there are 5 into 10 markers okay then 2 3 4 and 6 7 8 now you have to choose at least one question from each of these since these are compulsory you have to attempt three more questions so you cannot say i will choose all these three khatam nahi in fact there was one girl uh, she is writing mains for the second time now she told that she has done this blunder in her first mains ki minimum mein kar choose karna hota hai she has not done it right so people even after clearing prelims and uh, while writing the mains also do such blunders so so to make you understand in simple terms okay so a, you have to choose three questions at least one question from each section has to be chosen let suppose i have chosen this and this and then baki you can pick up from any so beyond these questions 2 plus 1 yeah for 1 plus 2 okay so totally eight questions any 8 into 50 marks 400 marks ka hai usme se aapko 250 marks attempt karna hai so what i have done here is the total if you if you total karoge to uh, aapko lage 400 the marks is 400 and this is a very indicative I've j I've taken few years ka average okay I've taken let's say 4 5 years in the recent past and I kind of taken an average and I've brought come up with an indicative list just to give you a uh, understanding in terms of what, because there are certain topics where you have to spend little more time it's purely because more questions are asked from those areas okay so first is basically we study about the discipline okay when we say discipline sociology as a discipline how it emerged because relatively sociology is a young social science subject okay compared to let's say many other uh, subjects okay or for that matter many other natural science subjects physics chemistry or if other economics usse 
naya hai right so how has it emerged okay and what are the important events so it emerged in europe so there have been important events like enlightenment uh, events in the sense it's a spread across good amount of time enlightenment uh, enlightenment french revolution industrial revolutions how all those things have impacted and helped in the emergence of the sociology as a separate discipline what is the scope right what is the way, right where is it applied what we when we say sociological study in a way in a way it is everything under the sun so if you look at other social sciences i think in terms of breadth this is i would say one of the most broad areas in social sciences okay so we will try to understand scope we'll try to compare sociology with other uh, social sciences like anthropology economics political science psychology right so this is the first chapter of paper 1 then the second chapter is to do with scientific method because people are uh, all the social most of the sociologists want sociology to uh, reach the level of what is called natural science natural science jaise physics hua chemistry usme kya hota hai physics mein kya hai there are natural laws that means you know right newton's first law second law so those natural laws apply anywhere across time and space those are going to happen the same way okay but social science is something different okay because we are dealing not with matter we are dealing with humans we are dealing with thinking people okay so their behavior even if the circumstances are similar might be completely different okay but still they are trying to get as close to natural sciences though so right so for that they have to use some kind of scientific methods there has to be some kind of objectivity and theoretical stands the things like what i've discussed right functionalism right uh, feminist uh, perspective marxist perspective right or conflict perspective so we are going to discuss all those things in chapter 2 similarly uh, next when we are doing scientific research there has to be certain uh, research methods there could be some quantitative like survey hua data collect hua qualitative hua when i say qualitative it could be merely an interaction with a person an interview okay or merely an observation you are you are participating as an observer and looking at things so those are more qualitative things okay sampling because we have to deal with big numbers so we cannot go with uh, go to each person and find out things okay so we have to go with some bit of sampling and all so this is what is chapter 3 is dealing with this is the most important chapter chapter 4 okay chapter 4 thinkers okay and i said there have been years where about 90 to 100 marks of questions worth of questions have also been asked here from this area now so broadly if you look at so we have studied uh, in first three chapters we'll try to understand what sociology as a discipline is right how we are trying to reach as close to uh, let's say any natural science and in this chapter we are going to discuss many like marx what has he spoken about class okay alienation all those things then historical materialism similarly emil durkheim what has he spoken about suicide or religion max weber you are aspiring to become a civil servant right he has extensively spoken about bureaucracy okay and beyond that he has spoken about religion also protestant ethic and spirit of capitalism anyways these terms i'm because you will not understand those things because we have to spend a lot of time discussing what these terms are so by and large we are going to discuss these uh, scholars these are uh, the most important scholars but we will not limit to only these three six or seven okay so we'll study i would say more than 50 at, at the least uh, thinkers because these thinkers can be clubbed into a certain perspective okay jaise marx marxist perspective ya conflict perspective hua right emil the emil durkheim will bring it into functionalist or structural functionalist okay so we will have lot of thinkers clubbed into a particular perspective okay and once a particular topic is discussed by a particular thinker when we discuss about a particular topic we will also discuss about all the thinkers who are supporting that view for example if marx has spoken about class class struggle then are there any thinker a b who are supporting this view what about people who are criticizing this view 
So likewise, we are going to study about many thinkers when we study these basic six thinkers also, right? Now, having studied about the thinkers, the job now becomes fairly easier for us to study these things because by and large, what we are going to study in these chapters, you can easily give an acronym, right? Okay, stratification. This chapter is to do with stratification. Okay. Then next chapter is to do with work and economy. So here the economy aspect we will discuss about economy, labor, society. So when we are discussing about all these aspects, politics, economics, religion, kinship, stratification, social change. Here we are broadly going to discuss the views of these thinkers. जो हम चैप्टर फोर में पढ़ेंगे उनका व्यूज पढ़ेंगे बियॉन्ड देयर व्यूज उनको सपोर्ट करते हुए सपोर्टिंग देयर व्यूज व्हाट इज सो एंड सो पर्सन थिंकिंग व्हाट इज सो एंड सो थिंकर बिलोंगिंग टू सो एंड सो स्कूल ऑफ थॉट इज सेइंग अबाउट पॉलिटिक्स सेइंग अबाउट लेट्स से फॉर्मल इकोनॉमी सेइंग अबाउट इनफॉर्मल इकोनॉमी राइट राइट और व्हेन वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट पॉलिटी एंड सोसाइटी वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट पावर वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट पावर एलिट ब्यूरोक्रेसी pressure groups political parties right similarly so what are the views of all the thinkers on these aspects is what we are going to study in a lot of detail right so see if i go in more and more detail yahan pe yahi pe 3 ghanta ho jayega so this is how the syllabus looks like so i'm just quickly breezing through the syllabus religion types of religious practices starting from primitive society old society me कितना रूडिमेंट्री फॉर्म में रिलीजन था प्रैक्टिस लाइक वी प्रैक्टिसिंग टोटम पर्टिकुलर और और एनिमिज्म से लेके अभी मॉडर्न uh, सोसाइटी में रिलीजन का क्या रोल है वेरियस थीरीज ऑफ डिफरेंट थिंकर्स ऑल ऑफ दोज थिंग्स विल बी स्टडिंग किनशिप किनशिप व्हाट इज किनशिप किनशिप इज रिलेशन यू कैन बी रिलेटेड टू अ सर्टन पर्सन थ्रू ब्लड और थ्रू मैरिज सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑल दो टाइस इन मोर डिटेल लेट से फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू मस्ट बी हर्ड की नॉर्थ इंडिया में सगोत्र मैरिज ओके विद इन द गो इज प्रोहिबिटेड साउथ इंडिया में कजिन्स कैन गेट मैरिड राइट कजिन्स आई प्लेस आई कम फ्रॉम बेसिकली फ्रॉम आंध्र प्रदेश एक लड़की अपने मामा से शादी कर सकती मदर्स ब्रदर कैन गेट मैरिड टू द गर्ल ओके सो क्रॉस कजिन मैरिज विद इन द हिंदू सोसाइटीज allowed similarly parallel cousin marriage within some of the muslim society is allowed aisa kyu hai right kyu aisa hai ki north mein alag dekha jata hai south mein alag dekha jata hai right kinship ties ko kaisa dekha jata hai how we look at kinship ties right so all these aspects we were, we are going to study as part of the kinship marriage household family you getting it right then social change in modern society and this is again mostly to do with your current issues lot of current issues uh, you might have to uh, mention in the questions related to these aspects so when i'm when i'm touching on about on all these things you might have noticed that there are some some topics which are directly in gs syllabus also kaise education science and technology gs mein hai ओके डेवलपमेंट प्लानिंग जीएस में है कौन से पेपर में राइट जीएस टू में है ये जीएस टू में है मैरिज फैमिली इंडियन सोसाइटी जीएस वन रिलीजन हियर वी गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट सेक्युलराइजेशन द प्रोसेस ऑफ सेक्युलराइजेशन कम्युनलिज्म सेक्युलरिज्म वेर इज देयर जीएस वन में है ऑल द straight away polity mein so the knowledge that you're going to gain here economy se related there is a good amount of overlap across the papers gs1 gs2 gs4 gs4 also okay now this this when we're going to study paper 1 we are looking at entire globe okay us globe mein we are go also going to look at india so when we come to paper 2 वही मोस्टली वही एस्पेक्ट है जो कि इंडियन कॉन्टेक्स्ट में एंड दैट इज डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री पार्ट्स ए बी सी ओके 
AMA again, basic concepts we will study, we'll talk about thinkers, just like what we have looked at paper one, okay? Uh, isme social structure discuss karenge, isme social change. So if you quickly look at paper two ka syllabus, uh, perspective on basic study of Indian society, some scholars like, these are the prominent scholars, G.S. Khori, Indologist, okay, structural functionist, M.N. Srinivas, A.R. Desai is Marxist. So jo, whatever we study in paper one is going to, the knowledge is going to be helpful to understand their point of view. Because see, uh, as I told you, sociology is a fairly a new discipline. So all these stalwarts of Indian uh, sociology have been students of many of the Western uh, sociologists. Okay. So a lot of things would be inspired by uh, their point of views. That is why you will see. But, but at the same time, they have kind of customized it to Indian society. Okay. Right. This, uh, the Indian, they have brought in their own uh, innovation. Okay. Uh, and given their own theories, though they have been influenced by uh, many of the Western scholars. So we are going to study about scholars in this first chapter and also scholars hum is maybe they can get cast me. Ghurie, Srinivas, Louis Dumo, Andre Bete, right? So we are going to study a lot about scholars, just like what we are going to study in paper one, in paper two also, okay? And beyond those things, again, look at village studies, land tenure, ye kaha pe hai? GS3 mein bhi hai, aapka, right? Untouchability and all, social empowerment, GS1. Okay, your polity may be related. Then tribes, tribal communities. Question. There's a lot of questions. Every other year there's a question on tribals in GS1. Prelims may be PVTG question push up the prelims ka questions they cover, right? Who are PVT? So we are going to study in detail about all those things in this particular chapter uh, to do with tribes. Okay. Then classes, class structure. There are quite a few questions on middle class ki upar bhi, GS may be, GS1 may be pucha gaya questions, okay? Ye wala question, okay? Kai logo ne na, jav live in wala socha ki yaar isme pucha hoga. Paper 2 may, that would have been asked in paper 2 of sociology. Many of you would have thought, no, in fact, it was asked in paper 1. So, you should have this idea that there is a possibility that India India related questions might be asked in paper one. Okay. So there is no harm in using the knowledge that you acquire by studying paper two in paper one. Okay. Then religion, problems of religious minorities, minorities super questions every year, every other year there are questions. GS1 se overlap hai yaan pe, development planning, mixed economy, education and social change, education I discussed GS1 directly, Indian society jo GS1 pe hai, usse related hai. Schemes, all your schemes, there was a question, poverty elevation schemes ka analysis assessment pucha gaya, right? To usme you have to discuss the various schemes since independence and try to assess, that was asked in GS. No, you are anyways going to study about all of these in your sociology paper too, okay? Social change, yaan pe child labor, I, child labor, GS make questions aate hain, right? Slums, deprivation, urbanization related to GS1, okay? Secularization, regionalism, direct topic of GS1 also, GS1, okay? See, why I'm saying this, right? See, this is the reason why I'm saying if you are able to interrelate with your sociology and GS, there is a lot of interlinkages that you can do, okay? And this is precisely why if you look at my, uh, my score, I was among top 20 in sociology option in that year, okay? At the same time, GS may mera top 40 mein tha. Kaise overlap hua? Right? Why was I uh, able to score so much? I have no humanities background. I'm, I've told you engineer, management. Despite that, why was I able to score more than uh, those people with the background who have 
done PhD and Phil also uh, in the in sociology, right? This is because I was able to interrelate. Jo maine GS ke liye current affairs mein bahut pada, usko maine sociology mein use kiya. Jo knowledge sociology pad ke mere ko aaya, I have used in uh, many papers of GS, including GS4. GS4 ko bhi aap papers dekho. GS4 mein bhi uh, you will see there have been cases. Case studies mein kya hai? सेक्सुअल हेरासमेंट का केस स्टडी आता है वर्क प्लेस में तो ये हम पढ़ेंगे वुमेन और जेंडर सोशोलॉजी में देन डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ ट्राइबल्स ओके देन देर इज देर इज देर आर क्वेश्चन ऑन लेट से हा डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस so every other year every every year there there is a case study wherein uh, a knowledge that you acquire by studying sociology you can use a lot of thing that will give you an extra edge of let's say one or two marks in that question as an ek baki log ko nahi milega right if others also will if they go if the right good answer they'll get good score what i'm trying to say is you can gain that extra let's say Six seven marks in each paper, especially in GS one, GS two, and GS four. Okay, so usi me aapko hoga twenty five marks. Or if essay topic also last year ek essay topic hai to kya hand that rocks the cradle uh, rules the world, right? Again, lot to do with women, right? Perspectives. It's not only to do with women, but whenever you discuss about a mother's role, you have lot of perspectives. due to your sociology background that makes the quality of your essay better okay so agar wo saal pe depend karega agar directly wo topic aaya to aapka aur bhi you kar isse aur add kar lo 10 aur add kar lo maybe agar essay mein topic mil gaya right and there is a high likelihood every alternate year at least there is something to do with sociology in new you know, essay paper also right so this is the reason why i was able to interlink between sociology and gs papers that is why my scores have been among the top in both the cases okay so this is is the this is the first aspect okay to ye first aspect humne dekh liya second aspect is background okay now again same question sir i don't have the background should i be choosing sociology or not take my case in in my year also the topper of sociology is a maths has a maths background maths in india okay so can we say if you don't have a background you cannot choose sociology you can very well choose, right right but yes yahan pe wahi cheez hai you have to develop a bit of what i call as sociological imagination the term that i've used right so you have to develop this a perspective needs to be developed obviously for this you need some bit of preparation in the sense aapko wo develop karna hai suddenly nahi aayega right and if you get help of some people some people who have cleared right if you have if you have someone who has cleared and that person is able to mentor you or someone who has written mains with sociology is optional and scored well if that person is able to help you give you some guide of guidance you will save time lot of time right see i cleared in my third attempt uh, फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट में मेंस दिया सेकंड एंड में इंटरव्यू दिया थर्ड एंड में आई मेड इट टू एएस ओके बट शायद अगर मेरे को पहले साल में कोई मिल जाता जो सोशियोलॉजी में अच्छा आंसर अच्छा स्कोर किया हो जिसने मेंस ऑलरेडी दिया हो सोशियोलॉजी का राइट तो ये जो सोशियोलॉजिकल इमेजिनेशन द इमेजिनेशन दैट आई नीड टू डेवलप मे बी दैट टाइम वुड हैव बीन रिड्यूस्ड गेटिंग इट राइट राइट बट एनीवेज so the, your background should not be a deterrent for you even if you are from a non uh, humanities background you can score very well and across years you have seen engineers doing very well non humanities background people are also doing well so is the case obviously sociology background wale bhi acche karne wale hain but at the same time i told you right i know lot of people who have done mphil 4 5 saal best of the institutes mein sociology padhe hain unse zyada marks mere ko kyun aaye hain right because of the things that i have told you interlinkage applied part 
जीएस को कैसे लिंक करना है सोशियोलॉजी में सोशियोलॉजी का थोड़ा बहुत ज्ञान कैसे जीएस में लेके आना है राइट बिकॉज ऑफ ऑल दीज थिंग्स इवन विदाउट डूइंग लॉट ऑफ पी एच डी ऑन सोटन टॉपिक्स राइट यूर एबल टू आई वॉज एबल टू स्कोर रियली वेल इन सोशियोलॉजी इज वेल यू गेटिंग इट मार्क्स सी लाइक योर साइंस मैथ्स फिजिक्स ले लो ये है हाई रिस्क हाई गेम हाई रिस्क हाई रिवॉर्ड गेम क्या है हाई रिस्क हाई रिवॉर्ड रिस्क क्यों है इसमें यू हैव टू स्पेंड अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम ओके ऑन द अदर हैंड सोशोलॉजी कैन बी कंप्लीटेड इन फोर मंथ्स टाइम बिफोर प्रिलिम्स फोर मंथ्स दोगे और प्रिलिम्स के मेन्स के बीच में रिवाइज करोगे यू विल राइट वन मोर राउंड ऑफ टेस्ट सीरीज it is doable right in that even from zero if you don't have background it is still doable there are people who have with non sociology background who have cleared in the very first attempt taking sociology as an optional okay so that way uh, and ye aisa nahi ki ab maths mein aisa hai ki let's say a question 10 marker hai maths mein ab do steps likhe ho you have written two steps uske baad kuch yaad nahi aa raha ya three steps likh rahe ho तो आपको मे बी पॉइंट फाइव मार्क मिलेगा एक मार्क मिलेगा बस उससे ज्यादा सोशोलॉजी में ऐसा नहीं है इवन इफ द क्वेश्चन इफ यू क्वेश्चन इज डिफिकल्ट ज्यादा समझ नहीं आ रहा यू नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड और यू हैव नॉट रेड यू विल स्टिल राइट समथिंग ओके जैसे कि टेन मार्कर के लिए दो पेज में लिखोगे यू विल राइट इन टू पेजेस फॉर ट्वेंटी मार्कर क्वेश्चन यू विल राइट इन फोर पेजेस यू कैन स्टिल राइट समथिंग इवन इफ यू डोंट नो एनी थिंग अबाउट अ ट्वेंटी मार्कर क्वेश्चन you will fill in some pages you can still expect some marks some average marks okay so uh, it is not very difficult to score average to above average marks in sociology okay compared to many other uh, optionals okay so that is one advantage of sociology over uh, the other options success rate okay sir ye sab theek hai okay but dikhaiye numbers se jaise na main keh raha tha scientific study data se bataiye मुझे एक पैटर्न दिखाया एक सोशोलॉजी के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एक सोशोलॉजी क्या करता है कि एक इंडिविजुअल केसेस में आपके केस को नहीं क्यों फॉलो कर रहा हूँ क्योंकि आपने क्लियर कर लिया उसी के बेस में क्यों लो राइट सो मेरे बेसिस पे मत लो तो देखो एस एस सोशोलॉजिस्ट की तरह ही सोचो एक साइंटिफिक स्टडी करके देखो इफ यू लुक एट यू गो टू एनुअल रिपोर्ट ऑफ यूपीएससी राइट हर साल uh, तो अभी तक का तो ट्वेंटी तक का ही डिटेल्स आया है यू कैन गो टू द वेबसाइट एंड वेरीफाई ऑल्सो आई पिक वन ईयर ओके तो उसमें देखा जाए तो कन्वर्जन रेट देखिए सोशियोलॉजी का इस पीपल हैव टेकन सोशियोलॉजी एंड एंड पीपल हैव मेड इट टू द फाइनल लिस्ट नंबर ऑफ पीपल हैव मेड इट टू द फाइनल लिस्ट डिवाइडेड बाय पीपल हैव टेकन दैट ऑप्शनल इनटू हंड्रेड इज द परसेंटेज दिस परसेंटेज इज स्टिल अमंग द बेस्ट इफ यू लुक एट अदर सोशल साइंसेस ओके कुछ इफ यू लुक इट लिटरेचर को तो बहुत वेरिएशन होता है कुछ साल लिटरेचर का बहुत ज्यादा जाएगा जैसे मान लीजिए यहाँ पे मल इंग्लिश लिटरेचर का दिखाता हूँ अलग से कहा है इंग्लिश लिटरेचर ओके एक साल इंग्लिश लिटरेचर का गया ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट एक साल गया सिक्स परसेंट सेवन परसेंट ऐसा भी गया एक और ऑप्शनल का था ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट गया उसमें जीरो परसेंट आ गया तो इतना ड्रास्टिक वेरिएशन सरप्राइजेस नहीं मिलेगा आपको राइट ये नाइन है इफ यू गो टू ट्वेंटी वहीं पे आसपास लाई करेगा नाइन टू टेन सो यू लुक एट यू यू गो एंड चेक इन द लास्ट फ्यू इयर्स वहीं पे लाई करता है तो आपको है ना एक कोई सरप्राइज नहीं मिलेगा सडनली कि यार कुछ कोई हो ही नहीं रहा है इस साल इस साल मैंने ले लिया एक का भी नहीं हुआ ऐसा नहीं होगा यू गेटिंग इट राइट सो देर इज सम बिट ऑफ क्या बोलते हैं सर्टनिटी देर ओके इन टर्म्स ऑफ एंड दैट इज लुक एट लेट से फॉर एग्जाम्पल पॉल साइंस से भी बट इन दैट वे इट्स लाइकली बेटर देन दैट राइट एंथ्रोपोलॉजी से भी स्लाइटली बेटर पबैट से भी स्लाइटली बेटर है राइट सो इवन इफ यू गो बाय नंबर्स आल्सो एटलीस्ट आपको ऐसा नहीं मिलेगा कि यार कंप्लीटली पांच परसेंट से नीचे चला गया इसका सक्सेस रेट राइट सो दैट इज व्हाई आई एम सेइंग गेटिंग एवरेज मार्क्स एंड व्हाई इज इट हैपनिंग क्यों ऐसा क्लियर हो क्यों हो सकता है इट्स नॉट जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द सोशोलॉजी स्कोर सोशोलॉजी के स्कोर के कारण उनका जीएस का स्कोर भी इंप्रूवमेंट जैसे मेरे केस में टॉप 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 सोशियोलॉजी जीएस ओके तो दैट ओवरऑल दैट हैज हेल्प्ड मी टू गेट इनटू द द लिस्ट ओके नाउ अदर थिंग आपको बहुत रिसोर्सेस यू विल गेट लॉट ऑफ रिसोर्सेस वेदर इट इज टू डू विथ मटेरियल 
coaching mentorship answer writing right so options are obtained so uh, you are free to choose any of those so there is no dearth of resources in fact ho sakta hai ki aapko zyada resources hain to you might get slightly distracted okay so you have to stay away from distraction more than uh, find it uh, troublesome to get hold of some resources at each stage of the preparation and the most again above everything right ye cheez wo sab theek hai it's like a decision that you take to marry someone you have to live with it for some good amount of time right ek saal mein bhi clear karna aapko kitna time lagta more than 1 year 1 year se zyada hi lag jata hai maan lijiye 1.5 years ek saal mein aap clear kar raha ho that is also a good amount of time okay sir 4 mahina baithna hai kisi officer ke sath uske baad prelims aur mains ke batch mein i have to revise also if i have to do all of this unless it is interesting it you cannot stick to it right don't make it burdensome don't make the journey too burdensome okay this is the decision this is why i have taken sociology over for bad kyunki i have told you right i have gone to the interview stage with these two optional in, in, but uh, the change pattern changed so i have to pick one optional it was not at all a difficult because i knew i can hold on to i i i am so interested in this subject that at least i can stretch it to one more year okay mai chahta hu all of you get through one year only okay but god for it ek pehle attempt mein aapko sirf irs mein ho gaya agle saal ko aapko ias mein jana hai to tab bhi to ek saal you have to spend one more year with this optional agar optional again lage yaar ek aur saal stretch karna hai agar wo interesting nahi hai it's, it's going to be like your uh, marriage your choice between a live in and a marriage ka choice hai na waisa hi wala choice ho jayega aapka right so above all interest is again a very important aspect and it's not very difficult for you to develop interest in this particular option right see i was giving you certain examples when i was give, discussing what is sociology right uh, i'm sure uh, when you go when you read so many things about uh, things happening around the world right obviously your perspective towards the world completely changes right you 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 broaden your horizon that is why i have even told right among the social sciences also in terms of breadth sociology is the i would call the broadest in that way right so upsc ka preparation itself is broad right you have to know something or the other uh, with respect to everything under the sun okay <clears throat> ye ho gaya why i think there's one brief part that is still left uh, which is uh, how to prepare for sociology right so i'll just uh, spend about 10 15 minutes here usse pehle uh, since we have discussed why sociology any questions ki uh, about the things that we discussed on why sociology ya kuch aur dilemma hai i know there would be dilemma because people come sir mai in dono ke beech mein thoda dilemma hai right mere case mein aisa koi questions any such dilemmas that you have in in terms of why so because i hope i have discussed all the parameters that go into the decision of choosing a particular option right so uh, you apply these parameters okay you apply again you you do your own kya uh, bolte hain analysis ki kaun sa option choose karna this is the exercise i did this is this is the exercise i suggest to anyone right <clears throat> right so that is what so psir and socio ya fir there might be some people uh, who would be thinking about socio versus anthropology or anthropology and uh, socio also 30 40 percent jo aapne discuss kiye wahi syllabus if you look at the syllabus of anthro 30 40 wahi hai okay 30 40 30, percent to same hi hai syllabus right uh, so even if you go by the numbers so i have given the numbers also no success rate again only that should not be a parameter but if you are stuck between any two things what i might want to even suggest is आप एक काम करिए आप बेसिक एनसीआर बुक उठा लीजिए जैसे सोशोलॉजी के लिए भी क्लास इलेवन का एक एनसीआर बुक है ओके तो क्लास इलेवन का बेसिक एनसीआर बुक उठा लीजिए उस पर थोड़ा चैप्टर्स आप पढ़ लीजिए ओके और जो भी आपका और ऑल्टरनेटिव विच एवर ऑल्टरनेटिव थिंकिंग यू पी एस आई आर यू पिकअप द एनसीआर टी पी एस आई आर 
or if you're looking at anthro there will be some basic book of anthro you pick up that or you you economics or psychology or you pick up and you go through those chapters okay and see ab dekho ki kya lagta hai ki yaar iske sath kya main baith sakta hu can i sit with this is it fairly interesting enough or is it something which is completely alien i have to struggle too much to get uh, f understanding about it okay based on that you can take a call if you're stuck between those two because बाकी सारे एस्पेक्ट्स में राइट आई टोल्ड यू राइट आपको पी एस आई आर में भी टॉप टेन में मिलेंगे सोशोलॉजी में टॉप टेन में मिलेंगे राइट कन्वर्जन रेट भी दो सोशोलॉजी का स्लाइटली ज्यादा है पी एस आई आर से बट उसका भी फेयरली डिसेंट कन्वर्जन है राइट तो एस तो मैं मैं आपको कोई कुछ कोई चीजें इम्पोज नहीं करूंगा जहां पे आप स्टिल स्टक हो वेर एवर यू आर स्टक यू कैन यूज दिस अप्रोच टू डिसाइड बिटवीन द टू ऑप्शन ठीक है एज ए टोल्ड यू देर आर सोसाइटी और सोशोलॉजी के ओके तो वो वो फोर एनसीआरटी यू कैन रेफर टू दम ओके यू कैन स्टार्ट योर प्रिपरेशन क्लास ड्यूरेशन क्लास टाइमिंग सी टेंटेटिवली वी आर प्लानिंग फॉर टेन टू वन बट अगेन वील टेक ए कॉल सी मंडे टू थर्सडे वी विल हैव क्लासेस बाई द फैकल्टी सी द एंटायर टीम दैट इज देयर इट्स नॉट जस्ट मी ओके Abhijit sir is there. Sashank sir is there. Ketan sir, Krishna sir, all of them have done very well in their sociology optional, and most of them have even cleared with sociology optional. Okay, so the entire team, uh, you, there is a what you call collective wisdom that is there. Okay, so uh, about seventy to eighty percent, most of the topics will be taken by me. But I know there are certain areas where Abhijit is uh, has uh, very good knowledge because of. His own personal interest, जैसे हर किसी का एक पर्सनल ये होता है राइट सो सिमिलरली शशांक सर इज इन्वॉल्व इन एडवोकेसी सुप्रीम कोर्ट एडवोकेट सो दर्टन एस्पेक्ट ऑफ नेशन सिटीजन टॉपिक्स राइट दैट सर सो ऑल ऑफ देम हैव क्लियर विद सोशोलॉजी एज एन ऑप्शन देव स्कोर वेरी वेल सो सम टॉपिक्स विल बी टेकन बाई दम ओवरऑल वी वी आर लुकिंग एट लेट्स ए स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम फिफ्टीन सेप्टेम्बर और वील स्टार्ट विथ एन सी आर टी सो इवन इफ यूर स्टार्टिंग लिटिल लेट ऑल्सो uh we are looking at four sessions as classes four into three hours okay daily and one day dedicated only for your question discussion we will give you certain questions you can do some bit of brainstorming at your home jaise monday tuesday thursday wednesday thursday hum classes lenge okay as a faculty हर दिन मैं क्लास पढ़ाने के बाद एक क्वेश्चन दूंगा आपको राइट right? उसमें से कुछ पीवाई क्यू भी हो सकते हैं और आपको बोलूंगा कि थोड़ा सोचो इसके बारे में राइट right? तो फ्राइडे को देर इज एन एसोसिएट फैकल्टी सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस आई विल आल्सो बी टेकिंग एक डिटेल ब्रेन स्टॉमिंग सेशन होगा राइट right? उसमें क्वेश्चन को ब्रेक डाउन करेंगे राइट right? कैसे आपको मॉडल uh, आंसर्स होगा आपका इफ यू राइटिंग एंड गिविंग शेयरिंग विथ अस those will be evaluated and discussed in the session also right so a complete day is dedicated only for that brainstorming and uh, answer writing and evaluation and discussing the questions and the uh, approach okay because we understand with the changing patterns that there is a good focus that has to be given to answer writing i mean bola na tino saath jana hai mentorship answer writing aur aapka kya bolte hain preparation right so this is going to be uh, the schedule हाँ नोट्स जरूरी नहीं है एनसीआरटी से ओके okay? एनसीआरटी से जरूरी नहीं है इवन स्टैंडर्ड बुक से भी तो पहले आप कोई स्टैंडर्ड बुक पढ़ रहे हो कोई एनसीआरटी पढ़ रहे हो पहले आप उसको वैसे ही पढ़ते पढ़ते अंडरलाइन करिए हाईलाइट करिए अंडरलाइन करिए जब टॉपिक्स खत्म हो जाएगा आपको लगता है जैसे मैंने बोला ना फाइनल इफ यू हैव टू मेक अ माइक्रोनेट देन यू गो टू ऑल दी सोर्सेस अगेन जो आपने ऑलरेडी अंडरलाइन किया उन सारे सोर्सेस को देख के बेस्ड ऑन दैट आप एक एसेंस निकाल रहे हो उस टॉपिक का एंड देन यू आर मेकिंग ए माइक्रो नोट्स सो जरूरी नहीं है कि एक स्टैंडर्ड बुक जब पढ़ रहे हो उससे नोट्स बना रहे हो इग्नो का कुछ पढ़ रहे हो उससे नोट्स बना रहे हो नितिन सांगवान का पढ़ रहे हो उसको अलग से नोट्स बना रहे हो एनसीआर का नो इट्स नॉट रिक्वाइर्ड ओके ओके आर क्वेश्चन प्रेडिक्टेबल इन सोशोलॉजी पेपर वन हाँ सी एनी ऑप्शनल में इट्स नॉट वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू एटलीस्ट लुक एट द थीम्स बिकॉज in fact there are questions which are kind of repeated also so that is why i have been telling you uh, your preparation has to start uh, by even looking at uh, pyqs ha so as you study your topics look at pyqs 
there is some bit of repetition lot of questions are verbatim also repeated quite a few not lot few but themes are also repeated it is not like gs that it is very difficult that upsc takes care that the question is not repeated in optional there is a good uh, number of the, the, the good number of questions which get repeated fine see again i told you coaching it is not mandatory right it, it is not required uh, uh, हम क्यों कोचिंग कर रहे मैंने भी कोचिंग क्यों लिया कि सिर्फ इन माय केस आई आई टोल्ड यू बीन बीन वर्किंग इन यूके अर्निंग वेरी गुड अमाउंट ऑफ मनी आल्सो राइट देयर हैज बीन एन अपॉर्चुनिटी कॉस्ट फॉर मी तो एंड आई 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 प्लान कि मेरे को ज्यादा टाइम नहीं है आई हैव ओनली मे बी एट द मैक्स टू टू थ्री अटेम्प इफ एट ऑल ओके एंड ऑब्वियसली आई एम टू गेट थ्रू इन माई फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट ओनली बट ईच इयर दैट आई एम लूजिंग आई वॉज काइंड ऑफ वरीड क्योंकि अदरवाइज आई वुड हैव डन वेल इन माई प्राइवेट जॉब so the reason i have taken coaching is that i weighed in ki ho sakta hai agar even if i have to spend from my end a little bit of amount if it is helping me to reduce the time then it is fine if someone is helping me to uh, bring down the time okay that is fine so that is a call that you have to talk, take whether uh, you can go with uh, self preparation or coaching see it is something like this no khana aap khud bhi bana sakte ho राइट right, रोज खाना बना सकते हो लेकिन आपको लगता है यार उसमें आधा घंटा सब्जी काटने में जा रहा है आधा घंटा पकाने में जा रहा है राइट बर्तन धोने में जा रहा है राइट अरे या फिर वो कभी बाई आती है नहीं या, या फिर तो आप डिसाइड करते हो कि एक कुक को हायर कर लो राइट इफ इट इज अफोर्डेबल फॉर यू राइट तो वैसे भी खुद खुद कक करके भी आप कर सकते हो या फिर इफ यू थिंक बेनिफिट ऑफ टेकिंग अ कुक एंड समन हु इज प्रिपेयरिंग एंड गिव इट यूर टेकिंग सो द चॉइस इज योर्स वेदर यू वॉन्ट टू Take the help of cook. Is the same rule applies for coaching. आपको लगता है कि उससे time save हो रहा है कि someone is cooking for me and giving उस time में मैं कुछ और पढ़ पा रहा हूँ. Then you go with that. Or if you think no no I am good with my own preparation. I am good with my own cooking. Then it is it is also fine, right? So ऐसा कोई नहीं कि हर किसी को coaching करना ही करना है. Okay right? Once you have decided for coaching, then I have told you what other parameters you have to look at. आंसर राइटिंग का अच्छा स्कोप है कि नहीं मेंटरशिप का अच्छा स्कोप है दो ज्यादा थिंग्स दैट यू हैव टू लुक एट ठीक है ठीक है फाइन ओके देन आई विल कॉल ऑफ टुडे विल कॉल इट अ डे देन ओके ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट एंड थैंक यू टू यू गाइस आल्सो फॉर मेकिंग इट क्वाइट इंटरेक्टिव बिकॉज यू हैड रियली गुड क्वेश्चन थैंक यू थैंक यू श्लोक हाँ इंटरेक्टिव बनाने के लिए आपके लिए भी थैंक यू गुड क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो good number of questions i see some people have some basic knowledge also but i say so i try to keep it as simple as possible considering because i know i know i have gone through the same journey mai khud is journey se pass kiya hu mujhe pata hai ki starting mein kya problems tha beech mein kya problems tha to तो main zero se kisi ko bolunga zero se jo zero se shuru kar raha hai with non humanities background hai mujhe pata hai usko kaisa content chahiye hoga kaise right so that is why i have tried to keep it as examples also as simple as possible while i was trying to explain what is sociology and all right fine chaliye take care bye